Hi guys, I thought of making this video to share my knowledge on pixel LEDs with you. So let's get started. First of all, let's see how the pixel LEDs can be categorized. The first thing is its operating voltage. The second one is its LED density. And the third one is its waterproof level. Okay, so when it comes to the operating voltage, there are mainly two types, 5 volts and 12 volts. For most of my projects, I use 5 volts and it is the most common type of LED strips available when it comes to pixel LEDs. And there are special 12 volt LED strips available if you need to go for like a single color. For example, if you want to obtain pure white, you can use 12 volt pixel LED white strips with the required color temperature you want. Okay, moving into the second point, LED density. As you can see in this all LED strips, these three are having 144 LEDs per meter and these are having 60 LEDs per meter. These are the most common and most, most used type of LED strips when it comes to pixel LEDs. Uh, so comparing the two, this 144 LEDs per meter type is having almost like 2.5 times higher LEDs than the 60 LEDs per meter type. The advantage is 144 LEDs per meter type is having more brightness and also, also you can have more smoother animations compared with the 60 LED type because the LEDs are very close to each other and it's, it's packed close to each other so the animations that you play on this LED strip is more fluid okay uh, so that's the main difference and when it comes to cost also uh, 144 LEDs per meter type is almost like two times expensive than, than this type so it's a uh, it's all about what you what you really want to do with the LED strip if you want to go for higher quality with higher LED density you have to go for 144 uh, if you want you know normal decent quality uh, you can go for 60 okay uh, and the third one is the waterproof level of the LED strips as you can see I have made this sample board to show you the different level of uh, waterproofness so first of all let's talk about this type this is IP20 waterproof level uh, IP20 means uh, basically there is no any waterproof coating or tube on top of the LED strips as you can see it's it's like uh, it's bare you know it's a uh, it's bare and you can you can see see the individual LEDs soldered onto the FPC uh, so this kind of LEDs is meant for indoor use or if you are making a custom headlight or tail light uh, you can you can incorporate this inside those uh, headlight or tail lights because this does not contact with moisture directly. So, so in those kind of situations, you can use IP20 LED strips. And moving into the second quality, this is IP65. Uh, so IP65 LEDs is having a silicone glue coating on top of the LEDs. As you can see, if you look at the close up, you can clearly see that there's coating on top of the LED strips. So uh, this kind of LED strips is water resistant. You can you can use it outdoors, but uh, but you can't dip it in water. Uh, uh, dip it in water since it is having just a you know uh, silicon coating on top of that. Uh, so it is far better than this quality in terms of using outdoors and doing doing animations outside kind of. Uh, but uh, you know, but the thing is, it's not the best quality. And moving into the second, uh, sorry, third type, this is the IP68 type. There's an IP67 one also, also available, it's not shown here, it is just a bare pixel LED strip encased in a silicone tube. So it is also used, but it's not that common to use for this kind of application. So I skip to IP68. So IP68 is the best quality that we can buy in terms of waterproofness. As you can see, it is. Uh, it is encapsulated uh, in a silicone tube and also that silicone tube is filled with that silicone glue so it is having double protection there 
and you can basically use this anywhere cold or warm environments and if you want to light up your swimming pool even you can use it underwater too so if i show you a cross section the ip68 one is fully filled with the silicon glue and uh, there's a silicon tube also there and ip65 there's only silicon glue there and when it comes to uh, the ip20 there's no any glue available on top of that so it's obvious that this is the best quality that you can get and you can see it's it's actually a bit wider than the the, uh, the ip65 version and more rugged and more rigid than this but it's flexible you can bend it to any shape that you want uh, so that's the ip68 version uh, so i've been using ip65 for some time for my projects but now i completely move into ip68 type so for all the all the projects that we'll, i'll be doing and all the products that you order from me you will be getting ip68 if we if we use outdoors so that's a that's one of the major upgrades uh, that improves a lot in terms of durability and also the color color emitting sort of like color color diffusing because of the silicon tube it it shows like a wider uh, wider viewing uh, you know colors and angles so it is uh, better in every aspect if you are using the LED strips outdoors and it's very very durable compared to all the other versions okay so let me light up these LED strips and show you the difference let me turn off the lights for the best effect Okay, I'm using my Hasitech Pixel LED control box to control this. So, as you can see, the top IP68 one is having more color color diffusion or sort of more color spread is there. See the board also light up with the Pixel LED strip, and this is the IP65. So it is it is better than IP20 for sure. But uh, you know, as you can see, IP68 is the best in terms of color diffusion and color spreading I mean everywhere uh, I'll change the pattern just to, just to get an idea see as you can see IP68 wins here okay let me show you uh, the 60 LEDs per meter type as well Again, let me turn off the lights. So, as you can see again, IP68 type is the best out of the three, and it is giving us a much more better effect compared in the other two. I'll change the pattern as well. lights and now I will do a comparison between IP sorry uh, 144 LEDs per meter versus 60 LED per meters so here is the comparison between 144 versus 60 as you can see 144 is much more fluid and having much more higher brightness comparing comparing with the 60 type but again it is costly so based on your project you have to choose what to use now i will turn on everything to show you a full comparison Turn off the lights. So here's the full comparison between all the LED strips. So as you can see clearly 144 wins here and IP68 wins because of its uh, better color division. 
so hope you guys uh, learned something today and you know again a reminder to you guys if you order uh, outdoor an outdoor unit from me any pixel LED uh, control box uh, with LED strips or actually tiny LED controller with the pixel LED strips you will be getting this IP68 types going forward so I'll, I won't be using IP65 anymore uh, if you use uh, if you want to use this LED strip inside or in a in a headlight or taillight or something you will be getting this type or you can request this type but for outdoor use I will be always doing IP68 that's one of the major upgrades happened uh, to here in Hasitec so you will be get the best quality LED strips uh, you know going forward so I can ensure its durability and also the color spreading and all so you won't get disappointed since I'm giving you the best thank you so much and see you guys in the next video